Hi everybody, welcome back to my 100% walkthrough of Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. On this video we are going to be getting more of the Borgia flags and treasures from a secret location. And we will just check this out. So we've got to play another one of those um, secret location missions. So let's make our way over there and just have a look. So we've done that one, and we've done that one, and we've done that one. So it's the sixth day is where we're going to. the Palazzo Laterano, the Pope's old home basically. Okay, and as usual we've already played this mission, we've already got the 100%, we're just going back to get the collectibles, but we have to play it through to the end, so I will be speeding it through the bits that we don't need to see again. However, I love the free run, so it's good fun to play again, but you don't need to see it all again. So here we go. So off we go, so the first thing we're going to do is we've got to find our way, yeah, I've forgotten where to go, oh that's right, through this way, and then round the corner, and then you jump across this gap here, okay, and the first thing we're going to pick up is a Borgia flag I believe, when we can get up there, what are you doing, yeah, I had trouble with that bit. Right, let's try that again. Here we go. First bit you can pick up is a border flag. So jump across here, and then you see these two sort of like shutters that you jump on, and straight off that you get to this part, and then to the left, and there is the border flag. Right, so that's one of them. Next thing will be a chest, I think. So we climb up here and jump down there. There's a little bit there. Okay, jump across the chandeliers. One. Three. Another cut. The, oof, just made it into here. Well done. If you fall, that will aid you indeed. And there is the chest. Okay, so that's the first of the chests. There's nine chests in this one, but six of them are right at the end. There's only three in the main play of the game. Of the mission. There we go. So there's one. Okay, on we go. Climb back up. Where are we going to get back up? We're going to go back over here. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, climb back up. And this is the way we normally go. When you get to the Weeping Woman statue, climb up it. But instead of turning to the left like we did for the story, we turn to the right. And there you'll see is the flag. Second border flag. Now we can go back across the way we would normally go. Jump and do that little catch back thing. Swing over. Swing over again, over the gate, keep going, and then we're going to climb up, and over to this side, and over to here. And the floor's going to fall away here, jump, 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 and this time, it's another flag we're going to get before we get another treasure chest, so we're going to jump across here. This is all normal, but when we get up here, normally we turn left. We're going to turn right again. It's going to change. And we're going to get the flag. Let me just get it. Oh, missed, jumped that. Let me just show you where it is. Right. There it is, and down there on that ramp. See? So, yeah, there we go. Okay, so we're going back again. And this time we're going to take the hanging pot. We get this little cutscene. And then if you go straight ahead, I didn't go straight ahead, but straight ahead there's a treasure chest here. Okay. Uh, can I slow that down at all? Right. So continue down here as you do, do normal. You've got all your border flags, you've got two of the treasure chests. There's only one more before we come back to the end of the game, which is here. So check it out, and then once you've checked the gate out, you can shoot this sandbag, and then go to the right. That opens the gate over there, but don't worry about that for now. Just go to the right of that gate and jump down here. And this is a really important chest because it's got in it the shrunken head. That's the one. 
now we go back and finish the rest of the mission, which I think will be on full speed. Don't forget these boxes are good for filling up your uh, ammo, particularly when you miss that one there. There we go. And that'll show you where the next one is. You've done all this before. None of this is new to you. Just make sure you make this bit. As is usual, we have to go the long way around. So we keep going. Where are we going? Here we go this way. And climb up. And around this way, obviously. And this is all a nice bit of free run for us. drops on this because you got to remember the 100% sink on this is not to lose more than um, one health square. There it is. <laughs> yeah, man. Okay. Fill up our crossbow bolts again. Leap of faith off. And we're running back up towards where the vault is. we can do quite nicely. Here it is. Check this box out. Okay, so you can see here, as I've slowed it down back to normal, there are two treasure chests there in the corner. That's two of them. So that would be five treasure chests that we've had. Okay, and then there are another four down here. There's one. We've already got that one. That's two. We've already got that one. Uh, number three we haven't got. It's over here at the back of this gate. Let's open that one. Number three. And number four is just over here. We just, you just saw it there to the side. There, number four. So we've got all of the treasure chests for down here now as well. And that's it. We can leave this area happy in the knowledge. And that's it, Ezio has left the building. That will now return us to the DNA menu. And when we get back to the DNA menu, we can have a look at our progress again. If we go along to additional memories and have a look at the board of flags again in secret places, you'll see there we've got 12 of them, only six to go. And that's it, that's where we're going to leave this video. So, thank you very much for watching, and until next time, requiescat timpache.